Brr, I am the crumbling edge of a wave, a fizzy cascading of momentum that's changed. Brr, I am falling back Ooh. into the blue. Ooh. All the waves come from and all the waves go, our liquid mother, so dark and so cold so dark so and dark so cold. and so cold I release like my a seed hold. i release my hold. i release my hold welcome to another episode of something greater still Today, I am wild foraging rose hips for the very first time. Something I'm really learning to appreciate more and more is deeply opening to the inner life of plants. Wild foraging asks us to be aware of taking only what we need, leaving plenty for the wildlife, for the soil, for other folks to enjoy. And it also affords us an opportunity to feel into the personality of this plant being, get a sense of who this is and what its medicine is beyond what can be measured um, scientifically or medicinally. It has a quality to it and it's lovely to open to that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So something that I'm really loving about the rose hip is how it's this vibrant crimson gem in the midst of a dark, decaying winter landscape. And there's something about that that speaks to deep sadness and cycles where things are falling apart and decaying and the organic gifts that emerge from those kinds of cycles. It feels also really good on an animal level to pick and forage. I could feel in my brain dopamine being released. Even if what you're foraging isn't edible, even searching for something like a feather or leaves, I think there's something about that that looking, that seeking, that finding, that's really healthy for us. I can definitely feel it. And look how beautiful. Mm. You can just eat them. You have to spit out the, uh, the insides. Mm, I think I'm just gonna eat these seeds. Hmm. <laughs> Woo! There is a truth with wild foods, it's just a tiny bit of wild food. It's like, it has a vital force that, that expands beyond the, the nutrition value, or the caloric value. It's like, it's energizing in a whole other way. And there's some vultures. Yeah. 
Maybe they think I'm dead. <laughs> uh, not yet. When I close my eyes, I pretend that the sound of the cars is the sound of the crashing waves. Oh, look at those birds. Some crazy birds. Like with most things on the internet, there's five different conflicting opinions on how to do this, but what I'm going with is to chop up the rose hips, like leaves and seeds and all, and steep them for about uh, 48 hours. I notice with certain plants, there's the heat element, which draws out certain constituents from the plant, and then the cold will actually draw out other minerals from the structure of the plant. So that is something I've seen and know about with nettles, and I see that that might affect the rose hips as well. Okay, I'm just gonna pour the water over it. With the other half of the rose hips, I'm going to be freezing them and using them for fresh tea and possibly a syrup. But for now, I'm just cleaning off the end bits, giving them a rinse, and putting them in a bag to freeze. Apparently, rose hips have 40% more vitamin C than most citrus fruits, which is why they are lauded as powerhouses for the immune system. Just look at that color. Love it. Mm. It's so lovely. I can feel it in my heart. I feel it like, mmm. <laughs> the flavor is really delicate. It's a bit like a... Um, it's just a very soft kind of flavor while still having a little tartness at the end. I think I would love to pair this with some hibiscus. Um, I could see some hibiscus, a tiny bit of a lemon, and a bit of sugar. You could make a really nice spritzer. I think I'll be using this like a concentrate and just using little bits at a time in my water. Oh, that was really, really fun, and it feels completely worth it. I'm really excited to continue to do this practice. Um, it's lovely to mm, imbibe from the land that you live on. So I'm feeling that maybe that's part of why my heart is kind of because uh, I, I participated in this food. All right. I hope you enjoyed and I'm wishing you a really beautiful cycle of beautiful time. Um, keep your eyes on those little sparks of red, those beautiful gems of goodness that, that are, that are there. Um, okay. <laughs> Bye. 
Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.